Hello and welcome. I'm Nathan. And I'm Garber. And, and this, this is, is Coffee, Coffee Talk. Talk. So, hopefully, most of you got your Christmas shopping done early for all of your family and friends. But if you're anything like us, either you haven't started, or you bought mostly for yourself on Black Friday. I mean, did you see what we got on Black Friday? <laughs> We got a dark gun, we got a curing, we got a freaking... Oh, you bought that thing of Old Spice stuff for somebody else. I bought the thing of Old Spice. Oh, yes. oh we got the uh, router. Oh, Walmart. That's right, yeah. Walmart. We got the router and we got the headphones. And yeah, literally, I just bought everything for myself. Yeah. That's fine. Also, at the mall, we got the, uh, the puzzle. Okay, so I got two items. <laughs> and then I had some stuff on order on the internet. The couple days after Cyber Monday. That's when everyone really does their shopping is on the internet. Yeah, now these days anyway. If you think about it, who goes to the store nowadays other than for stuff like produce? Especially on Black Friday. Black. <laughs> Black Friday. <laughs> <laughs> that is how you can tell I'm sorry. I'll go be right back with your coffee. Black Friday. Black Friday. How? Nice try. <laughs> Black and nasty. Black and nasty. <laughs> Stop it! Do you think we should do a how-to on how to use a Keurig? No, it's pretty self-explanatory. It kind of tells you what to do. What if, what if you're like a writer and you throw away the free manual every damn time? Keurigs for dummies. We should write a book. She gonna be a book. She gonna. We should write a book. About what? How to be dummies. 101. <laughs> Chapter 1. Lose the brain. Show up late for every occasion <laughs> and act like you forgot about it when you really just didn't care. I think that's step one actually is stop caring. <laughs> just lose your soul. It's not hard. Oh my goodness. No. No. Um, but on the topic of videos, this week we got a good lineup. There's Coffee Talk today. Tomorrow we got me finishing up my subwoofer box for my car. That'll be exciting. This is gonna be like. Also, on the topic of my cars, we if it didn't fix the car, it's still the check engine light still is on there. Oh, that sucks. So we had to buy another part. <laughs> So we're gonna have to install that one and see if it still works. So we fucked up again, somehow, somewhere. The coffee talk. There's me building my subs. Um, next week we have an exciting new segment for you guys. We're gonna be doing cooking with coffee. With coffee. <laughs> That's gonna be really interesting. So we're gonna get a whole bunch of our friends together. Each of us. So we're. Now we're gonna, how are we gonna do this? We're we're gonna have a dinner as a whole, like as a family of the studio. The squad. We're gonna the assemble squad. the squad. Assemble the squad. Well, each person is gonna be responsible for a specific part of the meal, but they can only cook it. Like they have to involve coffee in some way into the meal. So I feel like it's gonna be really interesting and disgusting at the same time. I hope it's good though. I feel like some of it we could pull off and make it okay, but then there are other things where if you incorporate coffee at all, it's going to be disgusting. Yeah, so I feel like we should try to like make so it a goal to make it as good as possible. It's really hit or miss. Yeah. So, that'll be a good segment, and we're going to have everyone record their own little piece of it. It'll be fun. That'll and be then exciting. We'll come down to the studio, and we'll have enjoy a nice family dinner. And then, you won't see me for a while, for about a week. Garber will be taking over. After, so next week is my last coffee break for a whole week. I'm going to have to leave that with you. You're on your own for a week. That'll be interesting. So you're just going to have him. <laughs> I'm going up to my call and snowboarding. Unless you really need to come along to my call. <laughs> no. I'm good. I'm not a fan of the cold. Yeah, no. As we've established. Yeah. It's not even that cold here. Not right now. 
No, it hasn't even, like, snow hasn't even stuck. I was downtown picking up Eric, and that was probably the scariest driving I've ever done in my entire life. Like, I mean, it was flooding. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Like, and it was pitch black. I couldn't see the lines of the road. I'm pretty sure I made a couple of illegal turns. <laughs> and it's all one-way streets down there, so it's, like, yeah. really confusing. Yeah. So if you want to go anywhere that, like, you need to go straight, you have to go, like, in a huge square, come back around. It's so bad. Yeah. It's terrifying. I almost hit a cop yesterday. How do you almost hit a cop? Okay, so I was going down, you know, doing my thing, right? And he's just hauling down the street, you know, because he's got his lights on, something's going on. And I passed him early, so I know something was up. But I'm just, like, casual. I don't hear his lights until, like, he's, like, a block away. And by that time, I, like, look over. I'm already in the middle of the intersection. And I see him, and he's just hauling his way on down. He has to, like, slam his brakes to, like, avoid me. And so I, like, throw it in the second. I'm, like, hauling down. <laughs> downtown at like 35. We're gonna cut out the whole part where I say my speed limit because that's not the speed limit at all. <laughs> oh my god. When me and Eric went to that concert, the chick standing in front of us was so just absolutely. Oh yeah, tell the kids about you know your concert experience going to falling in reverse. Oh my god. Put that hashtag in there. Tag him in it. I mean, she was just like, she was stumbling all over the place. She was like trying to dance with Eric. It was so weird. How old was she? I, she was probably like 25. It was hilarious, so. Was she like the lady who like brought him food? No. Earlier? No. Could have been. That was the person in the bedroom. Because he got new neighbors or whatever, and they were like introducing themselves, I guess. Okay, but who really does that? Old people. <laughs> like, I'm sorry girl, if I move into a neighborhood, I'm not gonna go next door to you and be like, Hi, I'm your neighbor! <laughs> Bring you like a batch of cookies. I just, the people next to me just moved out, and then like, two days after they moved out, we just got new neighbors. Really? Like, there was never even like a for rent sign or anything in the yard. Like, they just showed up like, Hey, we're your neighbors. Like, okay. <laughs> See, that's the great thing about having this. Even though we didn't have coffee today, we still are able to go off on all these tangents. Yeah. So we still get stuff to talk about. And my voice is... My voice has been cracking a lot <laughs> recently. I don't know if you guys can tell. We should, like... After, like, after I say that, you should, like, just, like... Get every single place where my voice cracks. And, like... <clears throat> you sound like a girl right there. <laughs> I don't know what's going on! What's happening to me? Yeah, that happens to me a lot more when I'm like sick more than anything else. When I when I start getting sick, I get like voice cracks and like my throat, and my vocal cords get all like tangled together. The struggles of being a man you can sound like a woman for brief moments in your life. <laughs> there was that. Okay, we got to tell them the story about the oh, the, the kid in our driver's, driver's ed. ed. Yeah. yeah. So how do we do it? Like there would be a worksheet. And then, like, we would go around the room, and each person would say the answer to the Question. problem. Like, yeah. problem 1A, and then the next person, problem 2B. So we get to this kid, and he's in the back of the room. And she calls on him to answer the problem. And, oh my, the best voice crack I have ever heard in my entire existence came from this child. <laughs> he was probably, like, 15, too. I have... So it was like a legitimate voice crack. Like, this is like puberty voice crackage going on. Stuff you see on TV. And I remember, the answer was B. Because yeah. he said, B! <laughs> I remember, like, we're the I can't worst. even replicate it. it was, he sounded like a moose. We are the That's worst how people, though. Like, we were the only ones left. Like, everybody else, like, Everyone they else felt was... bad for him. Like, he was embarrassed. And me and you were just... <laughs> Okay, but like, either the, people do, like didn't even like care or notice. Like they're still like checking their ears, like hmm, I've got that one. I on. was dying. <laughs> and then there's like some kids who are like looking at him, and then there's just you and me. We can't even look at the kid. We're like buried in our desk, and we're just cracking up so bad. Driver's Ed was so oh. much fun. We had so many adventures. I remember like, every day at the break we would go get. Doritos. Uh, what was it? it was Coke Zero, like Pepsi, Pepsi Max, or yeah, something like Pepsi that. Max. We would go get those and hot <laughs> Cheetos. Yeah, yeah, it was hot Cheetos. And then we'd like, we were just like walking around at break one time, and we discovered this concession thing because apparently there was a basketball game going on, right? Yeah. And they had the door open, so we'd walk in there and we'd like go in there and like there's 
what was it like Mr. Hayes or something? He was like, <laughs> he's in the concession. He's like, what are you guys doing here? <laughs> it's like, we have driver's ed. So we buy popcorn from that guy. <laughs> Get back to class. Everybody is so confused. Where did you get popcorn? We're like, right. don't worry about it. Yeah, we got the hookups. I am. Oh my god. I know a guy who knows a guy. Everyone was like so conflicted. They were just like, where did you get? Wasn't there one popcorn? time when you got like a hot dog? Yes. You got a whole hot dog. I bought a freaking foot long hot dog with like mustard and ketchup on a walk into class. You know, casually eating a hot dog. Everyone else is like stuck with it, like Cheetos and like Fritos and shit. I'm just like hot dog. God, that was oh my such God. a fun time. But it only works for like three days, and then yeah. they stop showing up. But it was good while it lasted because awesome. everyone got so confused because we never told anybody what happened. <laughs> we never explained it. <laughs> we just got the hookups. We're just like. It's a secret. Sorry. Got a guy. Met him through the grapevine. Even like Miss Trunnell was like so confused. <laughs> Where did you? How? <laughs> it's like there's a microwave in the break room. <laughs> there's the time where he almost killed us. Like we were going down the hill and you were turning onto Shinden, I think. We were we were like going to merge or something. And this dude was like hauling behind us. So you had to like bring like slam on the brakes and the dude like races by. Yeah. <laughs> there's another time where I totally like wasn't paying attention. We were going down State Street. I was just like, because I was trying really hard to like get the speedom the fucking speed thing. Speedometer. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to get it exactly on there. Like I was, like, yeah, that's what I was working on. I was practicing that. One day, looking at the road, I'm like, 35, 35, 35. There we go. And then hold it, hold it, hold it. I don't even remember her name. Whoever our like yeah. driving lady was. She was nice though. She fucking slams on the brakes. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> like inches from the guy in front of us. Oh my god, I don't remember that. Oh my god. And then that was like the first day where I like yeah. had no idea how to turn and I'm turning out of the parking lot for the very first time and I turned way too far. Oh my goodness gracious. I think one of my favorite memories though was we were I think it was yeah, I was driving. And I was I the like, classical music thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And we're right next to Walmart. There's the light right next to Walmart. And so we're stopped. And then this dude in, like, the most redneck truck possible. I mean, this thing was lifted. It was massive. It was black. <laughs> it had smokes like that, everything. And then he pulls up right next to us, like, really so. And I have to, like, uh, I look up at the window at him, right? And out of nowhere, you just hear from his freaking truck. He's like, ooh, he had a freaking opera playing. <laughs> the loudest op like. He was not like he, it wasn't. You know, he wasn't laughing. He wasn't excited. He was genuinely just sitting there he listening was to it. Casually, like in his truck, listening to opera music. Like you never hear that anywhere. It, it was weird. Like I was. I mean, I was expecting it to go, go on like one of those favorite Octum Doors and turn the light. You know, one of those moments. But no, it was just like, <laughs> and it was like. <laughs> Everyone was so stunned in the car. We're like, do you guys hear that? He's like, yeah, he's listening to opera. It was so weird. And I remember she was just like, just let him do him, man. <laughs> she was so casual about it. And then uh, there was the one day the kid skipped, remember? Because he oh, was yeah. sick. And then me and you had to drive like an extra 15 minutes each. Like, we were trying so hard to solve. She's like, should we wait for him? Should we call him? We're like, let's just wait. <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll just wait. He'll show up. Can we take his turn, you know, just sitting here waiting? <laughs> We were trying so hard to avoid driving because we neither of us were in the mood. It was cold. Oh it was snowing. We were wet. It was just awful. I remember the last couple times that we drove, like it was so cold that I was trying to drive and my right. leg was just shaking. Like I'm shivering. I'm like I can't control the speed. <laughs> I can't hold the 35 anymore. I, I've lost all muscle control. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, it was terrifying. <coughs> We picked the worst time to jump into driver's ed too. Like, it was if you're going to do driver's ed, it. don't do it in the winter, please. It is the worst time of the year. Remember the first time we drove? It was the middle of the night. Yeah. Like all the other times, it was early, early in the morning, morning and it was snowing. Yep. And like she, because it was in the winter time, she put us in charge of scraping the freaking windows every oh morning. Oh my god, that was, that so, was dumb. so bad. And then putting the freaking like thing on the top, like paint, you know, freaking yeah. like screw It wasn't like it like, was like a normal magnet, like pizza places have. Like, it was a giant like pyramid thing, and then there were like straps that yeah. made the hook inside the car. It was 
weird. It's how it stayed on. Yeah, I, I have no idea. No clue how it managed to stay up there. Yeah, <laughs> that's just weird. Uh, what's another good memory that we've had? Oh, I remember at the end of the semester, and I know you hate me for it, but Miss Trunnell called me out, and she was just like, yeah, if you don't want to take the test, you don't have to. You'll pass either way. <laughs> I remember you just like, look at me, you're like, oh, nigga, <laughs> really? I remember the, the science took, test. That I was 100% on that, that, and you did terrible. I didn't do terrible. I missed four. Okay, well. I did worse than you, though. That's the thing. I somehow knew every sign ever in the history of science. The one that I didn't get was the no passing zone. Because it's the triangle, and it says no passing zone. Why the hell is it a triangle? <laughs> Not even a normal triangle that like, stands like, straight up. No, it's the sideways one. I yeah. don't do the shape. It's a sideways one. I had no freaking out because it wasn't in the book. It wasn't anywhere. Like, you've had to just, like, seen it somewhere. And, like, I've been driving around for a while beforehand, you know, not legally, but, like, I should have seen it. There's no need for there to be a sign like that because you know when you can pass or not just by because the, of the lines. lines on the road. Exactly. But there would be no need for a sign like that. No pa Remember, guys, no passing. We're just going to put the double line. We'll just keep a single line right now, too. It was like. Like, I can understand, like, if it was, like, a blind corner or something like that would have that, but I've never seen one. First day, not for us, but first day in general for driving, one of the kids hit a biker. They were go- it wasn't the bike. it wasn't their fault, it was the bikers. But they were in downtown, and they were, like, trying to pull out, I think they were, like, getting gas or something. They are like, pulling out one of the weird streets out there, and where all the houses are. And the biker, they're, like, in the sidewalk and, like, trying to, like, turn right. And the biker just runs right into them, flips over the car. <laughs> that was my mom. She was driving in grandma's car, and she was parked at the, uh, or she was, like, getting ready to go straight at the intersection of Gillis and Gary Lane. Mm -hmm. She was just sitting right there, like, halfway out in the bike lane. The guy riding the bike was not even paying attention. Like, she was just sitting there. And then he just runs right into the car, <laughs> flips over it. And then just doesn't even say anything, picks his bike back up, and then just pedals away like he was so embarrassed. He was like, oh shit. My mom was just like, what just happened? <laughs> She's like, uh, that's another one. <laughs> She's just so used to like, on the dash, there's just like, tick marks. <laughs> pulls out a knife, just edges <laughs> another one in. Oh, that's five, diagonal. <laughs> boom. <laughs> boom. <laughs> boom. <laughs> Damn, they're on a roll. He's, she's going for that quad. Boom, 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 boom. Quad feed. Pulls out. <laughs> <laughs> Got a marathon going on that day. <laughs> she's like, she like turns the corner and they're like all coming around like the edge like freaking like bees. <laughs> you have that fucking like xylophone part. <laughs> and your mom is just like, <laughs> they're like running from like your mom and she like drifts the corner. <laughs> I can still see your mom doing it too. <laughs> She's just like trying to fucking get these bikers, <laughs> and then there's they're just these like huge like thin Lance Armstrongs right pedaling their way, <laughs> trying to get out of your mom's way. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> now we know why they get testicular cancer. <laughs> Because they're trying so hard to run from your mom, they don't realize that the seat is jammed right up their garage. <laughs> I don't think that's what gives you cancer. <laughs> oh. oh, that was that was a good conversation. I like I'm on a pretty good rant. And you see, we're able to do it. We just got to get into it. Right? Yeah. I'm tired. I'm so tired. My head hurts. Anyway, thank you all for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the rest of the week for some more fun, mischievous activities. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Is subscribe down there or is it still up there? It's down. It's down. It's down. One of these directions, it's down. Though. If you just go somewhere down there, don't go to the comment section. <laughs> That's not where the subscribe button is, just so you know. <laughs> It's a different. It's a different bar all in, in and of itself. <laughs> the top comment is gonna be like, "Click here to subscribe." <laughs> People are gonna be like, "It's not working." <laughs> Why is the subscribe button not working? He's gonna have it like highlighted in blue. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys once again. Have a good rest of your day.
Should I do it right? Sure. <laughs> Back on the top of Griffith shopping. We I feel like we should go do another video of us shopping like frantically and then running into people, even though there's only gonna be like four people in the store. <laughs> we do that. That just seems mean. Coming through! Oh god! Oh god! I'm coming through! And then like, there's like that one person. Just, oh yeah, you kids! It's like we pay everyone to do it instead of acting like god awful. So no. many fucking YouTubers have been exposed lately for like faking pranks and stuff, like just paying people to act like they're getting pranked. Really? When really they're in on it, yeah. Really? What? You see, we're not like that. We never did the freaking prank video, did we? No, we still need to do that at some point. We're bad. <laughs> we're not very good at keeping our words on a lot of things. <laughs> we do it, just not when we say we are. It'll happen eventually. Hopefully soon. It's just, I know I was going, boo! No, just like cut it up to where there's like silence. <laughs> and it's just me like in the background right now, and I'm just like talking about, like I'm just making the motions, you know, they're not even picking up. It's like, as if I actually hit him right on, he was like right there too. <laughs> we'll just do bad sign language <laughs> interpretations. <laughs> like it's now, just I mean, completely wrong. Now, I mean, they don't really know this, but like, yeah, he was going down, and I like, it was so weird because like I was like right here, but it felt like I like moved back, and he like uh, darted forward. I just boom right through him. Cop died instantaneously. Like he was <laughs> gone. <laughs> What's that? Uncle Pablo's wedding, and uh, I ran up to give him a high five, and he made a fist and punched me right in the face. <laughs> right? Exactly. Something like that. And then now we cut back to where it's audio, and it's like, <laughs> yeah, and that's how I almost hit a cop. <laughs> That'd be the biggest troll. <laughs> Garber, do you think we might have had some technical difficulties right there? Well, the thing from Fallout, where it's like, what is it? I think it's working. I guess it just must have cut out randomly there. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. You guys didn't get to hear my great story. <laughs> we'll have to go over it again some other time. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> What's wrong with this? I've seen them, and they're not, they're never placed in, like, a good, like, spot. Like, they, they literally mark where the double lines start. That's all they do on the highway. Only on the highway. That's, That's really where they mark it. It's like, are people that blind? <laughs> Let me just jump the median <laughs> to pass this guy and jump back over. Oh, my goodness. And then I remember, we'll end with this one, because this is the best story. 